le plus élevé de toute la création. Hi everyone, <laughs> it's summer, yeah, we're going to make something nice for summer, mm -hmm. some sobe, very quick, quick sobe, very quick and simple, good dessert or good snack, That's professional, almost. Now you buy whatever fruits, uh, you know, in season, in summer we have lots and lots of fruits. But uh, in winter, uh, you could also have it uh, from frozen, eh? Like you can buy a lot of fruit and you can shell them, uh, chop them into pieces or just let them hold like that and put uh, them in a Ziploc or container and you can store them in a deep freeze. And then somehow you can take them out and use them as fresh and some of them are not existing at all in winter, so that would be very nice, yeah? Almost as fresh, and it's cheaper when you buy them and store them like that in the deep freeze and use it whenever you want. Okay, now let's start. I have some, some kiwi. Uh, yes, apple and uh, banana. Banana, can you see the banana? Orange, some grapes. Uh, kiwi on uh, melon and watermelon. We can have more than that. We have strawberry and uh, we have all kind of those uh, blackberries, raspberries, red berries. They are very, very good for making sorbet and also very nutritious, full of vitamins. And some of them have lots of them everywhere. It's good to eat fresh also 
and it's good to make sorbet. So after a hot meal, you can eat this uh, refreshing uh, sorbet, which is uh, cool, yeah, and refreshing. Instead of going out to buy, sometimes you cannot buy, you make it yourself. Yeah. And it's even better and cheaper. I'll show you how. This is, uh, you know, homemade sobe. Okay, you make whatever sobe you like, according to what fruit available, yeah? And uh, I have here some of the uh, blueberry and, and grapes. So I'm going to cut them into very small pieces. You can put them in blender, it's quicker also, yeah? And if you don't have a blender, you chop them as fine as you want. And then uh, you can uh, deep freeze them. And after two hours or so, you can take them out and eat a sorbet already. Chunky sorbet. And if you want smooth sorbet, then you put them in the blender, all right? For the blueberry, because they're small, you don't even have to uh, chop them. You can just leave them as this, yeah. And you can uh, either halve the grape or cut them into uh, smaller pieces, as small as you want. Something like this. And the, uh, the blueberry, you can chop them. Or you can leave them as whole because they're small anyway, yeah. Okay, I have chopped some of the Grape. You can use a green grape, even better color. And take the seed away as far as you can. If not, you can eat the seed. They're very cleansing, good for cleansing the internal organs. Yes, and the intestines. Okay, you mix them together with the blueberry. You have a sweet tooth. <laughs> You can put a little bit more sugar in it if you want, but otherwise it's good as this. You can uh, put syrup or cream after whipped cream. I mix one. This is grapes and uh, blueberry. Yeah, I'm going to pop it in the deep freeze now, the deep freeze compartment that you have in your refrigerator. And after two hours, you can eat already. Okay, you can either put a more sugar or not, because they are already very sweet. So it depends on you. And you can put uh, whipped cream on top, yeah, together. There's a mixture which is uh, nice. You can mix apple and strawberries, banana and orange, and put in the blender. Mix them together and make a very, very tasty sauce. I'm going to share the banana now and the orange. Now we can blend them together. The rule of thumb is half half, yeah? Or a little bit more or less, doesn't matter. You know what's excellent for sobe? Mango. Also very nice. Mango, papaya. Actually, most of the fruit you can make sobe, yeah? They will all taste nice. Especially in summer when it's hot and you have the icy taste on your tongue. Wow, that will cool the whole body. And it's fun to make. You can make it with your children. And in this way, they will eat fruit for sure. You can uh, put some decoration on top of it, on top of the sobe, make it nice. You make it with your children, then we eat the fruit even more. And most of the, uh, your refrigerator will have a deep freeze compartment anyway. Yeah? And you can just pop it in, save some space for it. Make enough for you to eat one day, or you make a lot and save it for any day you want. It's fun. It's fun to make it with the children. Or for yourself, your friend. <laughs> you uh, cut the orange to see if any seed, huh? any pup, in case you don't like the pup. Otherwise, the pup uh, is, uh, tastes very nice. Give it a little kick for the flavor. So I have one banana and one orange, just fine. 
normal orange. We're going to pop in the blender now. Actually, I, I put two banana and two orange in there because my family, you know, bigger. And then you put a little bit of uh, soy milk in it, here. Yeah. Yeah. And a little sugar, if you want. You can put that little sugar, you know, like one tablespoon. It depends on how sweet you want. And you blend it like a half of a mug of uh, soy milk. There, it's done. So quick. Two seconds. <laughs> and then you pour it into any cup you want. Okay, once it's done, you can either pour it into one container, big like this, or smaller container. A smaller bowl, yeah, it's a bigger bowl. And then uh, for decorative reason, you can use fancy bowl. Or if not, you know, those uh, pudding that you buy, you eat sometimes, a fruit uh, mixture or yogurt, you can uh, save the container. And then you pour the mixture in there to put it in the deep freeze. Let's try that, huh? You see, I blend it only for two seconds because I like it a little bit chunky. But if you want it smoother, you blend a little longer, okay? Check the texture the way you want it. Okay, we put it in this uh, small yogurt container that I saved for this purpose. They're plastic. You don't have to throw them away. You can use them for anything. You can use it to make sorbet. You can use it to make ice cream. You can use it to make cold pudding. You can use it to make ice cubes. Okay, for summer. Before you throw something away, make sure you can recycle it. If, if you can use it, then you save it. You don't have to always go and buy things. Small, small cups. This one you can use all the time. Until, you know, they're not usable anymore. Then you can throw away. Save a lot of uh, money and energy. Protect the earth. I made six little cups like this. And the rest, you can uh, still drink it like a smoothie. I still have one cup full of it. This you can drink as a smoothie as well, fresh and quick. Or you can put it in the fridge and drink later. Or you can also freeze it as sobe. Now we can make some uh, chopped pear and kiwi. Yeah. And apple. Yeah, kiwi apple. You can use it. Two kiwi, ripe and sweet. Yeah. And uh, some apple. And a pear. A soft one. Hmm? You can uh, shell the pear, skin it or not. It doesn't matter. I just <laughs> don't have much time, so I don't shell it. I don't skin the pear, I just cut it in small pieces. By sides, or smaller even. Ah, oh, this is really appetizing stuff. Make your mouth water, you know? Especially when you're making it yourself. Don't forget to engage your children. If you want them to eat more fruit and vegetable, you engage them in cooking. Washing, chopping, well, chopping. <laughs> it depends on how old the children are, eh? Uh, but uh, engaging them, you know, make them pick in vegetable, ask them their opinion, mix them together, working with them, make them feel more a sense of uh, coordinating, you know, that they are in charge, that they are responsible for what they're eating, and that make them eat more the things that you want them to eat, especially fruits and vegetables. They're good for them, you know that. Even my dogs and my birds, they love fruit very much. Mm. 
I'll just uh, drop some pear in there and I'll drop some of the apple. Put them all together. The best would be that you mix all different kind of colors together. Just make it look nice and appetizing. But uh, if you can, eh? find the color that you want. Sometimes you cannot. So we have what we have. You know, in summer we have all kind of fruit in uh, our garden, but they ate them all. <laughs> By the time I got the time to go do something, <laughs> it's almost gone. I hope they can find one or two for me left over from, uh, from the garden, if we're lucky. If not, uh, well, it's okay. The main thing is you know what to do and you can choose any food you like. So we have here a cup of kiwi. I take the skin off. Wow, this is a very nice and white kiwi. Soft and sweet, just right. Put it in a bowl, <laughs> like everybody else. And now we also add some uh, honey melon, okay? Yeah. For the color. Okay, the melon, you take off the inner part of it, the seed and all that. And you can either put it in the blender, take the pot inside, the seed of the melon, take it away. If you like the seed of the melon, you can also leave it and when you put it in the blender, it will be okay too. The melon seed also very nutritious anyway, yeah? Mm. But for the chunky sobe, you just uh, take the, the inner part and cut it into small, small size, by size, and then mix together with other fruit. It's delicious for color and also for different choices. Then, wow! Most kind of fruit you can blend, you can put it in the blender and make it smooth. Sobe, chop it like this and make it chunky sobe, instant sobe, like in uh, two hours. Yeah, you can already take it out and it will be already very uh, fresh, yeah, frozen, but not too hard. It will be very soft and nice, icy, cool. Tastes delicious. The children will love it. Now instead of ice cream, we sometimes have eggs and all that. Yeah. And dairy in it. You don't want dairy product. So you can make this kind of sobe for your children. Very simple, easy, delicious. Sorry we don't have cherry because it's all gone from my trees. I put it in the deep freeze now. See how nice it looks even from the, under there already, yeah? When the children see the color, they will love it. It's very simple, really. <laughs> Chop like that and then you put them in the deep freeze. And then you are going to have a nice fruity, tutti sobe. Chop, chunky sobe. Now we have some watermelon. Just uh, cut one piece. And take the skin off. Just use it in the pot. Okay, good. If the melon is not sweet enough, of course, you can always add sugar. Uh, any sweetening. Syrup. 
fruit syrup, uh, even maple syrup. <laughs> I have never tried it, but we can do that. Okay, we chop it a little bit, small, small. You can take the seed off, yeah, or not. Yeah, the seed also nutritious. Yeah. Now we put it in the blender. Or you can use it as junk. Junk so big as every other fruit that I just shown you. I have to put a little water, otherwise it doesn't run. Very little, okay? Like half a teacup. See if it works. Yeah. Okay, it's done. Mm. Now I think we add a little sweetening because we have water, so it's not going to be sweet enough. Just maybe one tablespoon. One bit. Done. Sit. Even one second. Doesn't use much electricity. You can put in those, you know, cup that you save from uh, pudding. We're gonna put this in the deep freeze, like like other fruit that we have made. Okay, you can use some glass, a small cup, so you can use the pudding cup that we saved previously. Okay, we're going to make a little special sobe <laughs> without fruit. You put like one cup or one mug of soya milk. Okay? Or as much as you want, but here, yeah, one mug. Coffee mug into the blender. Three tablespoon of sugar. Brown sugar. One Two, three, or less, yeah? Not more. And then a handful of peppermint already washed in uh, salty water. By the way, even the fruit, you should wash them in salty water to clean away all the bad elements, toxin or maybe insecticide, anything that could be harmful to your health. Yeah. Wash vegetable and fruit in salty water. Soak them three to five minutes. It's always good. Whether you eat it raw or you will cook them, you should always soak them first in salty water and then rinse them with clean water for two, three times. Now, slow and Quick, just a couple of seconds. That's enough, okay? You don't want to liquefy the peppermint. It will taste better if it has a little, a little bit of chunk of peppermint in it. And then you pour it into any cup or container or you know, mold that you like and put it in the fridge also. If you want to drink it, it's a smoothie. Then you put it in the refrigerator for coolness. If you want to make uh, like sorbet together with those, without fruit, you can also add a little fruity taste into this soya mint, or you can just leave it as is. Just mint, soya milk, sweetening, and in the deep freeze. Okay, now so all the fruity tooties already in the deep freeze. We are waiting for two hours. You check it out with your freeze, okay? And deep freeze, uh, freeze it quicker, some less, yeah. You see the texture, if it's right for you, if it look like salt-based substance, texture, then it's fine. We're waiting and then we take them out, see how they look like. One more thing, which is not as good, but uh, 
you can find the fruit that you want or you're short of time you can buy those uh, fruit ready made in in the supermarket they made it like pudding like the uh, like fruit sauce like apple fruit sauce or any kind of uh, berry sauce they put them in a small container like I have shown you and then you can also deep freeze them and then you have instant sorbet yeah but of course it's not as good as fresh it's not as good as you made it yourself but it will do it will taste good okay here is how it comes out yeah your quicky sorbet and chunky sorbet they just out from the deep freeze and then it's going to be very very delicious I have another tray here you remember what we made yeah okay all that is here now Okay, I'm going to invite the people in my house. You can watch. Feeling very <laughs> unlucky <laughs> that you're not here. And then you can make it yourself. Yes. Wow. So this is the summer feast that I have prepared. Some pure fruit, sobe. After you put in the fish for two hours, more or less, and you bring them out, they will look like this. Aren't they beautiful, hey? Yeah. Yeah? Aren't they delicious? Oh, it looks yes. good. Look cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now, I want to introduce to you. Uh, this one is a watermelon, okay? In case you like, then you know what you like. This one is like a strawberry and apple. This one, banana and orange, okay? Mm -hmm. And this is uh, blueberry and grapes, of course. They're all frozen now, yeah? And all these fruits are like melon, kiwi, apple, pear, yeah? Okay. This is soya mint, and this is the same substance. Okay, enjoy. Pick, thank you. pick what you like. Oh, thank you. Yes, thank You're you so very much. welcome. And afterward, you have to drink water, okay? Yes. Okay. A little bit, yes. yes. Thank you. Enjoy and tell me if it's good. Mm. Mm. Very nice. Yes. It's very refreshing. Yeah. Water yeah. Water. Of course, it's summer. Mm. Yeah. Wow. This is a homemade sorbet. Yeah. 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 Wow. If you want it soft, then you leave it in less. If you want it a little more solid, then you leave it in longer, that's it? Oh, okay. Yeah. So the dogs will enjoy it. I made enough for everybody, yeah? And you see, this look like fruit there, but uh, they, I call them chunky sorbet because they're also frozen. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, just, just nicely, like ice cream texture, you know? Yes. It's not hard like ice, so you still can bite it and enjoy it. Okay, is it good? Yes, it is. Cool, huh? Really? Really. Wonderful. Okay. Did you guys put some of the mint leaves into your fruit? Yes. Yes. A chunky uh, sorbet? Yeah. Yes. You put mint? Does it yes. taste nice? Yeah. Yes. Crush the mint. The smaller the crust, the better. And then you don't even have to eat the mint. It's just the, the flavor will, will enhance your sorbet. Yeah? Nice, no? Yes. No. Telling you. I know everything. <laughs> <laughs> yes, master. <laughs> yeah. Good, huh? Yeah. Even the, the chunky sorbet nice, no? Yes. Yeah, sorbet is always nice in summer, yeah? Yeah, and it's nice, yes. And like this, you don't even need to eat anymore, you know? The fruits is even make you full also. But of course you can eat, don't worry. I'm, <laughs> I'm just scaring you <laughs> for fun.
Lihat. Finish ya. Semua, oke. Okay. Ada mana mau hari? Oke. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Not licking me, man. guys we're going to prepare some uh, very quick little snacks or lunch for yourself very simple there's no need to learn even <laughs> I'm just reminding you how to okay we have here the noodle hmm? Vietnamese or Chinese rice noodle you can buy a little bigger or this size of the noodle thread. You can buy them anywhere in Chinese shop or even in supermarket. Yeah. Rice sticks, they call it. <laughs> Actually, when you boil it, it becomes soft. If you have fresh noodle, rice noodle, it's fine too. And suppose you don't have any rice noodle, you can have even, you know, those uh, Chinese uh, uh, long sticks, Chinese spaghettis, yeah, it's also fine. But this tastes uh, different, a little ham, huh? rice noodle, and uh, wheat noodles a little bit different. Okay, today we're cooking rice noodle snacks or lunch. Quick lunch, nutritious, simple, and quick. You can prepare it maybe in around five minutes. Okay, I'm boiling water now. We're waiting for water to boil. Meanwhile, I'm doing something else like washing lectures, lectures, yeah, washing tomatoes, washing coriander, and washing spring onions. Whatever herbs you like to put in, you can prepare it right now. Okay, while we're waiting for the water to boil. But the thing is, uh, you don't even need any of this. Just noodle is fine. Noodle and lectures is fine. Or noodle and coriander is fine. Or noodle alone. <laughs> or noodle with spring onion, just for the taste. Otherwise, there's not necessary for so many stuff. I'll show you. You can also add some fresh tofu into your noodle. Okay. The water is already boiling. I'm going to drop the noodle in it. Okay. Two pieces like that. Yeah, would be enough for one person. Or even less. I'm going to put a little bit more in. 
Okay, so my people also want to eat it. I'm sure they would, <laughs> no doubt. Okay, I can okay, to turn the noodle a little bit. When you put the noodle inside, mm. you turn it around a little bit because sometimes the water doesn't cover completely the noodle. And under is soft, and on top is still dry and uncooked. Okay. Now you drop all the noodle in the boiling water. Yeah. They're already in there. So see, now the the water already reboiled. Yeah. We cover it and turn off. Turn off the heater. After you turn off the cooker, it might be still very hot. You don't have to cook it all the way. You just turn it off and cover it for five minutes, and it should be cooked by itself. But it's still hot, the oven. Maybe it depends on what oven you have. If it's electric cooker, uh, then uh, you have to pour out the pot until half of uh, the pot is uh, on the cooking spot and half of it outside, yeah, in the cold area. Otherwise, it will be overboiled because even though you turn off the electric cooker, it is still hot, yeah? All right. You could even put it out completely and leave it there for five minutes. It will be cooked by itself, save energy. Meanwhile, you can uh, prepare the tofu. Mm. You can rinse a little bit under filter water. Yeah. If you have a filter, under your tap is very good. It's like a mineral water, yeah? We fix this in so we have filter water all the time. We don't always buy the mineral water. <laughs> I normally use very less. Less utensil. But it's better like this for children to do. Okay? All you do is slide the tofu into thinner pieces. Right. See? Small slice. Thin slice. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And then leave it aside. Yeah. I check if the noodle is already soft. Sometimes you just leave it three minutes, it's even soft already. But five minutes uh, is okay too. Yeah. Still the noodle in the water. Yeah, to make it uh, become more loosened. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good enough. Just steer it because it was in a block. Remember? Now, if you steer it like that, it will be loose. Meanwhile, I have already prepared a little some spring onion and coriander and lectures, and I will put it on the table. You don't even need all this. But it's nice to have fresh salad, uh, fresh vegetable. Okay, the noodles are already soft and ready. So I uh, put in a little lectures and stir it around so that the lectures go into the hot water and become softer. Yeah, okay, that should be enough. Be soften, and you put the tofu in there also. Warm up. <laughs> you don't even need to do that. Yeah, you can also have the tofu cold on top of your noodle. But it's uh, up to you. Mm -hmm. You can have it warm or cold. All right. There. Then we're going to drain noodle. When you drain the noodle, you toss it a little bit, huh? gently, so the, all the water come out. Okay? There, it's already all out. Then, we put it there. So we're going to prepare it in a plate to eat. Okay, we're going to 
place in the in the dish now. Pick the tofu and put it on the other side like that. Or it doesn't matter, you can just put it all in the plate without discrimination. You can eat this cold even. So if whatever left over, you can wrap it, leave it in the fridge, and eat it cool later. Or just leave it outside the fridge even. That should be okay for now. And then you put it on the table. Uh, it's very simple. It looks like this. Yeah? Right. Then you have to add something on it. This is all the spices we need, or even don't need all this. This is uh, chili sauce, optional. Right. You put as much as you need, huh? but it's hot, be careful. And a few dash of uh, pepper, black pepper, gray pepper, or white pepper. Drop of Maggie. That's that. Okay. And there you are. Voila. The rest we uh, place it in a bowl here. And we can add more of it. So, okay. This is a finished product. Mm. My people are busy, so I can't invite them now. They're taking care of uh, dogs and birds. It's their feeding and outing time. So I just have to enjoy myself and maybe invite them later. Yeah, this is your noodle dish. And we have some frozen fruit. <laughs> of course, it's summer, and this is chrysanthemum drink. You know, chrysanthemum flower is very healthy and good for summer, refreshing and cool. It's uh, more like you drink uh, chamomile tea, yeah, similar, but it tastes very, very fragrant. I'm all alone in my kitchen today. Nice for a change. You don't have to share my space with my dogs. But they are coming in a minute, don't worry. <laughs> if I don't let them in, they will be scratching at the door. I don't know what kind of dogs they are. I thought dogs want to be free, you know, outside and enjoying <laughs> outdoor, but not my dogs. They just want to stick close, very, very close. <laughs> so they always hang around in front of the door if I'm here. So I just have to let them in. That's what it is. Wow, I cannot wait for them. I save some for them to come in and eat later. Their dogs are coming already. Oh, solo! Yeah, my dogs are coming in now one by one. We have to wipe them with solution water and then just a damp cloth with only water afterward. They all have to be clean because they want to jump all over on my sofa bed and everything. And it's better for their health to be clean. It smells nicer also. 
when you kiss them and hug them. That's <laughs> so why my dogs mostly healthy. Hey, I saved some food for you guys, okay? Thank you. Thank you <laughs> I uh, can't wait till I taste them a little bit, just to see if it's good. It's really good. The others are coming, right? Yes. You guys clean the ears also, yeah? Yes. Yeah, not too deep inside, but with the finger, wrap around with the cloth and clean the ears and around the face also, yeah? You know, right? Yes. It's all clean now? Okay. Come on, so so. Hi, so so. Big boy. Hi, big boy. I want some water now? Yeah, I'll put some ice in it first, okay? Okay, we put this ice in, uh, in the bowl and fill it with filter water, huh? Nah? Mm, that's right. Oh, very <laughs> crack, you hear that? Yeah. Very really big crack. Okay, so long. It's done, come. Come here, baby. Yeah, good boy. Yeah, cool, cool water. Look at that, huh? Cool, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not me. The water. The water. It's cool, huh? So long. It's not very sunny today, but still it's summer, eh? It's hot. So we put fans on for the dog and open all the windows, okay? Same with the birds, eh? Yeah. Did they eat well today? Yes. Good. All of them, yeah? Yes, Master. Yes, they did. Good. Wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. I'm going to give them some uh, veggie bone to chew now to clean their teeth. And we'll brush their teeth in the evening. Oh, okay. Always, yeah? You know, right? Yes, Master. I hope you will enjoy this simple cooking the way I would. Yeah, it's very simple, nutritious, and plenty full of energy very little calorie and lots and lots of love because you know it's a very vegan diet it's a vegan meal and there's no blood on the table it's peace is peace and is peace peace and loving kindness manifested on your plate and it saved the planet if you eat this every day i mean similar. <laughs> I don't mean you eat this same same every day, but you can. It wouldn't hurt you. Okay. Now enjoy making it. Enjoy your meal and don't forget to thank heaven before you eat. That will bless your food and you will feel happier, healthier, not just that, but we have to be grateful for what we have. See you. Lots and lots of love and blessing from heaven to you.
to freely download a gift of love, simple and nutritious cooking with Supreme Master Ching Hai. Please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash G-O-L. Meat costs and vegan... An animal-free vegan diet can reduce greenhouse gases by up to 94%. For more urgent details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash SOS. It's summer, <laughs> and we're gonna have some uh, simple, like, food. This is an uh, alternative to um, uh, barbecue, okay? Okay. Like, when you cannot barbecue, it's because you live in a, an apartment, and all you have is a balcony, maybe, or a deck, inside of your room, and you're not allowed to make any barbecue then uh, you can do something different. Like we can uh, fry the stuff, yeah? Yeah. And everybody can enjoy just the same. I'm gonna show you how. Okay, you have some uh, tempura? Yeah. You can buy any kind of tempura, uh, vegetarian tempura, of course, no? And you have some sausage? Whatever you like to fry. Put the sauces in to the tempura all together there. And we have also tofu, ready made tofu or raw tofu. Yeah? Yes. Okay, what's the tomatoes? Yeah, it doesn't matter actually. You can have without tomato, without salad. It's nicer to have salad in summer, no? Yeah. We have two salad, we have cucumber, we have uh, lectures here. Let's be just fine, okay? We have tofu here. We cut it into sticks like this. Huh? Long sticks. Yeah. Half it. Just like a uh, sausage size. <laughs> we'll put them all here together. It doesn't matter how you cut, actually. Cut it the way you want. The tomatoes, you have it like that. Yeah, and put together with the cucumber. And I'll show you what to do next. Tofu, you have to rinse the water out. Because they put them in the water. To keep it fresh, understand? Yes. You add the water and you rinse it in the filter water. Here we have filter water.
and squeeze a little. And use kitchen towel to dry it. Yeah, dry a little bit of all of them because they are wet. Yes. Okay, and then now you cut them into uh, like some size. <laughs> When you're cooking, you better recite some holy names. Jesus' name, Buddha's name, or Mohammed's name, Allah name, yes. Guru Nanak name, God name. Yeah, okay? Okay. Because I am uh, uh, explaining to you, so you think I'm not reciting. I am reciting always at interval yeah, to bless the food to make the food uh, transform into nutrition and light, okay? Okay. You soak uh, the vegetable in uh, water, in uh, salt water. But <laughs> sometimes I'm not sure, so I spray vinegar solution on it. The vinegar solution is half water, half vinegar, yeah? Yes. And then I rinse it again. I soak already in soapy water and I rinse it already, but I spray also some solution of vinegar on it, just to make sure. Yeah. There we are. And even if you buy ready-made salad, lectures or salad in the shop, you should rinse it again quickly, either with salty water and water, or at least filter water, okay? Now we're going to prepare this stuff. Meanwhile, I'm also preparing some fruit. Okay. You remember the sobe that I told you guys? Right. Normally you chop it into small pieces and uh, put it into the deep freeze. Remember that? Yes, I remember. Ah, you don't have to do that even. You can throw the whole fruit in there. Yes. I, I just did just now. Eh? I throw the whole fruit in there. And then when, when uh, you bring it out, you leave it for a while and it's not too uh, hard and then you can cut it. You can cut it <laughs> into pieces like this. Or any pieces you want. And it tastes exactly like the sobe that you have in the restaurant. Wow. Yeah. Without much ado. <laughs> yes. Without much uh, energy wasting. And I told you already, you can put it in the blender and make it smooth. Yes. But if you don't, it's still good. Save the blender. Okay, I'm just preparing some food meanwhile. Yeah, I throw the whole piece of watermelon is still here. <laughs> just put it in the fridge. Yes. Deep freeze like this. Cover it. Yes. I don't cover even fine. <laughs> and then cut it into small pieces, as small as you want. And then you put it on the dish. It's very hard. It's been in the fridge too long. Yes. But if it's too hard like this, you can uh, leave it outside for maybe some minutes. And then you try again. <laughs> this is good for my muscle. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Cooking is fun. You don't have to go to the gym. <laughs> if I do this all the time, do I need a gym at all? <laughs> no, huh? No. No way. Okay. <laughs> dragon fruit? The dragon fruit. Yeah. I just cut it there and make it into nice, nice fruit for summer. Well, we, <laughs> we are successful. <laughs> but it was with a lot of muscle. Oh, that's cool, right? This or not? Is it cool? Wow, it's nice. Nice fruit, no? Yeah. Fruit is really delicious. Maybe we can just be fruitarian. <laughs> sure. Already better than breatharian, no? Right. <laughs> A vegetarian is already better than fruitarian. I mean, for many people, because they're not used to without food. Yeah. Okay, we can skip it here for now first. 
and we do the rest. Remember I told you about the dragon fruit? Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, I cut them like that, of course. Well, you know it already. If you don't, you look back at uh, my cooking last year or something. <laughs> sure. Yeah, the, the old, old program, you can always uh, have access to it, no? Yeah. Oh, yeah, so easy. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to drop it in. Yeah. Put it a little bit deeper, otherwise it will break. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, do it, do what you want. Yeah, okay, yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Because some people don't have barbecue, they cannot barbecue in their apartment. Yes. So this is uh, like a, a social. Oh, that's and a good idea. Oil, yeah. Mm. When the oil is hot, you just put it in there and wait. Okay. <laughs> now eat with bread, huh? Mm -hmm. And ketchup, cucumber, yeah. Yeah. And cucumber, you can also do it for decoration. Leave it there. It's fresh, huh? Yes. Well, you don't have to fry it. No. <laughs> I hope not. It's uh, more healthy that way. <laughs> Just nice to stick everything. Yeah. And it's so easy as well. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it doesn't burn so quick. And it's like stable, yeah? I changed the smaller part because like this, like this, it's just nicer size. So the uh, the chopstick will not uh, steep in oil, just the food. It's much better. See, after you, you fry it the way you want, you know, as much as you want, even just uh, for a quick while, you know, as long as it's hot, yeah? And it looks right, that should be enough. And then you put it in the plate with the kitchen towel. Turn around a little bit so the oil don't be too much, yeah? Yes. If you're afraid of, of being fat, of course. Yeah, all right. Too much oil is never good anyway, whether right. you are afraid of being fat or not, yeah? Yes. So just good size is good enough. And this one you don't eat every day, it's forbidden, yeah? Yes. <laughs> too fattening. Okay. The tofu is not yet completely done. When it's done, it should be like uh, golden like this, yeah? Yes. Okay. But you can also eat it like that. It's not forbidden, okay? Okay. Now we put a new one in and get ready for the next one. And after we eat this, we use the stick again. So it never wasted. Voila. After the oil is uh, boiled, you should see to that, that it's not too, too much boiling, yeah? Yes. Yeah, you put it on two-thirds of the heater or half of the heater, okay, depends, yeah? Sure. Right. Okay, there you are. You see, when the tofu is not yet uh, cooked, it stays at the bottom. <laughs> Everything else stays at the bottom. But when it's uh, kind of uh, cooked a little bit, it will float, yeah? Yes. That's when you can eat already, but you can wait until it's more golden. It's up to you, yeah? The tempura will be floating anyways because it's lighter. It doesn't matter. Yes. And you put him down again, or to let him float, also fine. It will cook in any case. Good. You remember the sobe? Yes. Left over last time. I just left it in the fridge, and you can uh, put it in your your fruit juice. Yeah. Wow. Like that. Yeah. It will be bubbling with color. Be color. See that? And it tastes good. Yeah? Yes. Instead of ice, or together with ice is fine. See that? Yeah. I have also ice cube in it, but I have also this uh, sorbet. You can uh, make the sorbet and fill your ice tray with, with it. Yes. And then when you use it for your juice, you put it out instead of cube. Okay? Yes. You can make as many colors as you want and put in your juice as uh, colorful. Huh? Yeah. It's nice for summer, no? Definitely. Okay. 
voila. And the rest you can eat as sorbet. <laughs> Eat just like that. You put the pepper, ketchup, or salt. It's right there. Yeah. You can have salad also together and the bread. Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> Enjoy. Enjoy. Thank you. Here are your cheese. Wow, it has some a little red, you know, thing on it. It's very nice. Wow. Eat. Enjoy. Is it good? Wow. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, cool, huh? Yes. Yeah. Nice for summer, no? Very nice. Yes. You can have water or juice with it. It doesn't matter what. <laughs> you can use olive oil or other oil. But when you use other oil, it might be bubbling very fast, so be careful. Yeah. That's tasty. Tasty, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Summertime, when the living is easy, fishes are jumping and the cotton is high. Your daddy is rich. And your mama is pretty, so hush little baby, don't you cry. Summertime, when the living is easy, fishes are jumping and the cotton is high. Your daddy is rich and your mama is pretty. So, hush, little baby, don't you cry. You see, we cannot let the dogs out yet because we have oil and we have cable and all that. But the dogs can eat later. I'm worried they stumble on the electric cable, because we need them. <laughs> That's why, huh? If we're not cooking, uh, we can leave the oil on low or turn it off, and when we cook, we do it again, huh? Please. Right, thank you. Save whenever we can. Huh. Dogs is a little upset because <laughs> we didn't include them. <laughs> Can't have everything. We saved some for you. Don't worry. It's nice, huh? The deck that we made, huh? How useful, eh? Otherwise, such a small mountain house like this, how we even have a front yard, eh? We have to create things, otherwise we don't have, huh? <laughs> you see the way I made it, you know? Just uh, some wood and then the far fence around it. So we don't have to make a wood balcony, eh? Save a lot of work, no? Yes. And it's safe, just the same. <laughs> Very safe. It won't go rotten even, it's just nice. Yeah. And if it's, uh, the fence is uh, rotten someday, we will change the fence, it's quick. Take maybe 10 minutes, huh? No need professional to come in, we do it ourselves. I invent a lot of stuff, eh? <laughs> okay. You guys enjoy, yeah? Yes, yeah, a lot more. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. A lot more. You know the French, they call this fondue. Normally they eat cheese, but we don't eat cheese, yeah? Yeah. Maybe we'll eat tofu cheese, but we don't have it, so... <laughs> okay. They use uh, cheese to 
dip in oil, you know, deep fry like this. Uh -huh. And then the cheese melt and they eat it with boiled potatoes or baked potato, jacket potato. Yeah. In the potato they bake with the skin on. Uh -huh. And they eat it with cheese like that in uh, winter time, yeah? yeah? Summertime also, why not, huh? We all work like mad, <laughs> won't be able to get better. <laughs> You can even eat like this without salt and pepper, nothing, right? Yeah. And without sauce even, yeah? These things, they are tasty in themselves already, right? Yeah. Not too bad. Take a little salt. Yeah, just a little bit. My little bit. <laughs> oh, nothing. Also fine. Okay, huh? Yes. <laughs> I get the uh, what this, see? That's how we eat. It's summer, you know? You want there are uh, pepper, salt, <laughs> everything uh, is needed uh, is present. Ketchup. <laughs> okay. Okay, one of the Thanks a lot, but I will eat you also. No, eh? we are all eat, we've been eating before you came. Oh, okay. We did not eat food. <laughs> yes. It's just spontaneous. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Because when he's ready, he's ready, eh? No, we didn't know you were coming home yet. You know, we do it ourselves. But because I heard your car, so I thought, oh, let's invite our neighbor to come. He's home. Oh, very kind of your side, yes. Are you alone there? I am not alone because there are the Romanian. Uh, oh, really? Oh, they are working. Yeah. Go ahead and join. You want ketchup or not? No, no. Okay, but it's boiling hot. Uh, <laughs> it's okay? It's perfect. I told you it's nice. Vegetarian can be nice, no? Very good. You, all these are vegetarian. Vegan, actually, it means no meat, no egg, no dairy. Completely vegetarian. This is sausage. And the taste is good, eh? It tastes good. Japanese yeah. tempura? Yeah. Yeah. What is that? The taste is good. Tofu? Tofu? Yeah. yeah. And fresh vegetables. And fruit. Yeah, what else you want, eh? That's good. Bon appetit. Grazie. Molto buone. Molto bene. Molto buone. How you say vegetarian in Italian? Vegetariano. Vegetariano, oh, a peu près. <laughs> enjoy. It's very, very close as a language. Right? Yes, enjoy. I make some more for you. Plenty there, you see? We all eat already. You guys eat one more, have some more, yes. okay? Ah, enjoy, eh? Yeah. No salt, no pepper, nothing? Oh, As it is. You eat very healthy. Very good. Better than salt and pepper even. Cheers Thanks to so our much. neighbor in love. This afternoon. Yeah. Our neighbor. You want to come home soon, huh? And when she comes, you let us know. We invite her also. Okay. Now is the time that I have to invite you. Huh? No. Yeah, why not? Uh, okay, why not? But whenever. <laughs> it's not like uh, you have to. So you see also my house. Huh? Yeah, I like it. I've been in your house and you invite me orange and all kinds of stuff. Uh, and your dogs always say hello when we pass by. <laughs> she is lovely, lovely. <laughs>
There you are. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yo. Skinny guy. Yeah, I mean, you eat a lot of this stuff. Yeah. Mm. You eat one, sir? Okay, I cut it. <laughs> Today we are going to make some uh, simple tofu kebab <laughs> yeah? and peanut sauce Very good. and just prepare the plate and also some uh, fried noodles okay fried noodles so because we are going to take some time so we are going to uh, soak the noodle in hot water, yeah? This is rice stick noodle, they call it rice stick. Or rice noodle of any kind, any rice noodle we do. And also I have a handful of fragrant mushroom. Soak it also in hot water, so that it's going to be soft, and we can use it. See, one piece of hard tofu, you're going to uh, slide it, you know, into a uh, thin slice, like that. It's a nice time to cook outside, huh? Yeah. Wonderful weather. Summer is nice. You can cook outside, eat outside. Then of course you have to use the kitchen towel, huh? To dry up a little bit so it doesn't spray when you are frying. Okay. Dry, 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 dry. Now we uh, put some oil into the pan and fry the oil in there. Not too much, just to cover it. Yeah, and wait until the oil get heated, then we fry it. I leave them here and wait until the oil heats. Meanwhile, we can do a party thing, like preparing the spring onion. Chop the spring onion into fine more professional, huh? Yeah. And good guy. But it doesn't have to be okay. use a small knife like that before. So good. Uh, some people don't like onion, spring onion, then just use leek. I don't have to. It's optional. But I'm just telling 
the whole public. So I just cook what they they like. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here. You want to test if the oil is hot enough? You just uh, throw a little onion in it. And then if it goes, then, <laughs> then it's hot enough. Right, we're waiting. Meanwhile, I can do many other things. This coriander is roughly chopped. It's for the noodle and the, the one for the tuna sauce. I want it very, very fine. Very, very fine. So that it blends in. Here we go. Yeah, you hear that? You go. Okay. Then it's heated. Now we're going to put the tofu in there. Fry it. Fry the tofu until it's golden on both sides. Meanwhile, we're preparing the the plate now for the for the tofu. It should be in a like a free, uh, you know, spoon-like cabbage or lettuce, whatever you have. That should be in a free bowl. And then we leave it here. So, the tofu is frying already, we have to make peanut butter sauce, see? Just one tablespoon is fine. And then, put some uh, soy sauce, like also a tablespoon of soy sauce. And so you have to turn the other side of the tofu, so that uh, both sides will be golden. When one side is golden, you will turn it to the other side. Yeah, voila. And let both sides be golden. Can you put a little water in there? The hot water. And mix it well. into a smooth sauce, yeah? That's all. Hot water is good so that the peanut butter will melt and mix well and smooth. If it's cold water, it will be lumpy and it will not mix. Boil water is okay. Very hot water is okay. You see now it becomes smooth, yeah? Like this. See that? Yes, Master. Okay. You can have chunky peanut butter or smooth peanut butter, it's up to you. Now we got to transfer it here into this little cup. Just to make it look nice and decorative. Otherwise you can put straight on the plate, who care, huh? Yes, master. Does it look better like that? You know when you have deep leaves of lectures, also okay. You cut a little smaller like this, so it's it fits onto the plate like that. Okay. You can either dry it, dry the, the fat away, or you just put direct on the plate. Don't fry too long; it becomes hard. Okay. Yes, master. Just golden a little bit. That will be enough. So that it uh, a little bit hot outside, but soft inside. Just golden. When it's too hard, it doesn't taste as, as good. There you are. See that? Yes, master. Now we drain the noodle. Get it ready to fry. See, 
it's already soft. Even if we don't boil it, if you put it in boiling water and stand for five minutes or something, it's going to be just fine. We let it drain here while I am cutting this mushroom. Also drain the water very well. Press your hand into the bowl so the water will drain out. We use mushroom uh, and uh, cabbage. Either Chinese cabbage or white cabbage to fry together with the noodle. Just chop them uh, small or big, it depends on you. It doesn't matter. <laughs> This is a Chinese fragrant mushroom. Okay, put it there. And we also chop some of the cabbage. The idea is that you use one thing, you know, in, in one day, so it doesn't have to be left over for another day. Like the oil that you have just uh, fried the uh, tofu. You can use it now to fry noodle, so you don't have to store it in somewhere in a container and use it again. But the oil is still good. You use it very short, and it still arrives. That was olive oil that I used. Olive oil doesn't spray too much, and it's very nutritious, easy to digest. A little bit more if you need. It would have been better if you already prepare all this in advance. But it's okay too. And you put the spring onion in there. Yeah. Fry a little bit so the aroma comes out. You can fry until it's uh, golden. Just uh, half a minute doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be golden. Okay, now we put this mushroom and uh, cabbage in there. And then we fry it. Mix. You mix around until three to five minutes. Until the cabbage soft. There's no need to put any water in here, but you could put some uh, soya sauce. It's about a tablespoon soya sauce or more. One or two tablespoons, depends on how salty you like your food to be. Mix it. tablespoon I think it's maximum. If not you can taste it, okay? Mm, like that. Then you know it's okay or not. You can always add some more later after it's cooked even, yeah? So no need to put a lot of uh, soy sauce in there. While waiting for the cabbage to soften you can put a little pepper. Optional. Alright. And now you can Put the noodle in there to mix together. It's enough. So we mix it, okay? Mix very well, thoroughly. Check out if it's okay. Fine. I think two tablespoons soy sauce is enough. You know, this is very simple. You don't even need to put any uh, 
spice or any mushroom seasoning or anything. You could do it, but you don't have to, yeah? Because the onion, the cabbage, and the mushroom is already very uh, uh, flavoring, all right? Yes, Master. And it's, it's done. Finish now. I'm going to put it on the plate and ready. This is enough for two or three people, yeah? You can also add tofu or vegetarian ham into it. But like this also fine, okay? Yes, Master. All right, that's it. It's simple and ready. Is what it looked like and you can have a beautiful outdoor meal now. Finally we put the the finely chopped coriander on the peanut sauce. It will taste better but it's optional. Try the tofu in the sauce. Sure. Is it good? Very nice. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Nice combination. Good, good. Try the noodle. You can eat both together. Otherwise, normally, normally the tofu go first. Tofu is like appetizer. Good, huh? The noodles are also very nice. Yeah. Yes, yes. Enjoy. Thank you so much, Master. Everybody's busy today, so you are a lucky guy. <laughs> That's true. <funny. laughs> Thank you. They are not here, you lucky guy. But you okay, you work very hard, you earn some. <laughs> Thank you, Master. Leave some for me, huh? <laughs> I will. Sure. You enjoying, guys? It's delicious. Huh? <laughs> yes, it is. Nice ambience, huh? Mm. Simple, eh? Mm. Very tasty. Good. Good. To freely download a gift of love, simple and nutritious cooking with Supreme Master Ching Hai, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash gol. Hello there. Today is a cold eating day. Raw food day. Well, almost 
So everything is raw, <laughs> almost, except for the vegan ready-made ham and the ready-made uh, seaweed. Yeah, you can buy them supermarket, a health food store. And so we're going to make three kind of things today. The summer popsicle, natural popsicle, huh? and uh, second is the vegan ham with the uh, cantaloupe. Or if you don't have honey melon. And the third one is a uh, simple seaweed wrap, okay? Today, no cooking. So I'm going to make first the popsicle, so I can put it in the deep freeze. The children will love it because it tastes like soapy, like ice cream, but it's all natural and simple to make. So all we do is the simple stuff, you see? Their favorite fruit, yeah. even orange, you can peel them yeah. and make them into small ring. I find that small knives is more <laughs> easy to use and is versatile. So I'm going to peel the orange. So we're going to slide them into three pieces, or four, or two. <laughs> Depends on how big you like it. And then you just put them on a stick here, like this. And be careful with my break, okay? Very gentle. You could have one more, I ah. You can have thinner stick, yeah? I don't have, so I use the chopsticks. <laughs> Convenient, you can always use it for anything. The next is some pear, peach, watermelon, banana, yes. Peach here. So, pick it up. I have two. Two peach. Put them together there. Banana. Ha. Can put the whole banana on it, or just half of it is fine. Mm. It tastes really very good after it's been frozen. Yes, you'll be surprised. The children will be surprised how delicious it is. This one, we need a big knife. Okay, you cut it thick enough. Cut the watermelon into a slice thick enough to make it like a popsicle. Take away the skin, huh? Yeah. Okay, and then we cut it like this. Try to take away the the seed. Mm. You can also eat it, but it might not feel that smooth, you know. <laughs> you want it smooth, so you take away the seed. Yeah. Okay. And put the stick right in the middle of it. Put this far enough so that it will not fall or break, okay? At least two thirds of it. One. Another one here, take the seed away. Cut it into the popsicle size. It doesn't have to be this tall and this big. <laughs> it can be also half size. Yeah, the seeds are gone. Put in the stick. There. Voila. And so here. Think about making your own uh, popsicle. 
ice cream is that you know what you get. Yeah, you don't worry about whether it is clean or not. Take away the seat, hey? You can use a more professional, but I just do this, it's easy. So you don't have to have so many stuff in the kitchen, you know? Here, yeah, Hammy. Happy? Goody? So, here. There you are. Yeah, huh? Here, yeah, Benny. Enjoy. I can give you some more little, some more ice popsicles. <laughs> you see the dogs? They love ice cream. But uh, some ice cream have eggs, you never know. So it's better you make it with fruit. My dogs love fruit popsicle or fruit sobe. You know the way we made it last time? They love to eat them. In summer, they also love to crunch into ice cream, <laughs> like vegetarian bones. My goodness, can you believe that? So what I do is, I give them ice cream into the water to make the water cool. Also, I put some water in the fridge to keep it cool before giving it to them in summer day or summer afternoon. It's hot, so they love it very much. And they even fish out the cubes on the water to eat it, and they crunch it like vegetarian bone. They love it so much. Okay, we're done with all the popsicle. Look, they're like this, see? And we're gonna put it in the deep freeze now. And after a couple of hours, more or less, then it's ready. You can leave it in the fridge much longer, but it just becomes harder. And when you take it out, you leave it for 10, 20, 30 minutes, and it becomes just nice for you to eat. You check it out. When it's soft enough for you to eat, then it'll be fine. Okay, we're gonna make the uh, vegan ham and melon. <laughs> okay, so we'll cut the melon. I like to use small knife, maybe because I'm small, eh? <laughs> It seems easier to manage. Okay, and take away the inside, the seat. Make it clean looking. Mm -hmm. Cut some side in our shape. Just look nice. Take away the skin. It's better if you leave them in the refrigerator first for a few hours, or for a while, you know, until it's cool. It's better if it's cool in summer. Just look better without seat, otherwise, you know, it won't hurt you. Hmm? It's good for you also, the seat. Chinese people make watermelon seat, other kind of melon seat to eat in New Year, so it's be lucky. They even dyed red, so that is look even luckier. Put the tray already. Now just put vegan ham on it. They are already very very nicely done. Yeah. What you do is just roll it. Yeah. And put it in there. I try to economize and save a little bit, but uh, if it doesn't roll well. You just put a toothpick through it and then it will hold well. Just for nice looking. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise it's okay. It tastes just the same. Voila. Hmm? One more. Roll it here. Yeah. Yeah. Look good though. It's like a flower. Vegan flower that you can eat. Children will love this. And we don't have to cook all the time, eh? Save electricity, yeah. There are many things ready made nowadays. And uh, we enjoy. Mm. There, it looks okay now. Looks good. Just stand it there. Okay, now 
just squeeze them together a little bit, you know, stick them together to make them stand. Okay? It will look like this. Okay, next we make the simple seaweed wrap. Okay. One, two, three, five. First we prepare the carrot. Yeah. Cut the carrot into a thin, thin uh, slice. Yeah, long side like that. You don't have to cut like this, you can just chop it in four pieces and cut it short, it's maybe easier. Whatever way you do, as long as you can bite them, <laughs> I think it should be okay. Yeah, we slide them into small and thin slide like this. Or if make it easy for you, you can make it short and slide them just as soon. Voila. Careful with Hannah. Don't let children do this, okay? Just you adults and be very careful. There. Okay, that's good enough. Yeah, Hannah. Some little carrot. Good. Yeah, okay. Good. And cucumber. Leave them aside here. Yeah. And we also cut cucumber like that. You don't have to take away the skin. You don't want to. You can also. Yeah, but you need Everything is good on the cucumber. Slide them like that. Good. And half it. Little smaller. Okay, how about those slides? Cut it. You don't have to cut it very thin. Just thin enough. There. This crunchy one is not too thin. Yeah? Okay. And it's crunchy with the skin. Right. This is all we need actually. But you could also put the uh, celery, yeah, if you have celery. I don't have it today. <laughs> uh, I think my people used it all today before I get a chance to come to it. Anyway, so we put the carrot. Yeah. If it's not long enough, you add a little bit, a little piece to make it long. And cucumber. Just a long side, as long as it's long enough for the sushi. And you sprinkle a little bit of the mushroom powder on it. Mushroom powder, this is special made with seaweed in it, yeah? Mm. If you cannot buy, you can order from Loving Food, our company. And yeah, sprinkle it on like that. This is the shitei, mushroom, grounded, together with a little sesame and seaweed. Mm. You can buy them in Chinese shopping. It's like powder. Yeah? It's like this. It's in a package. And it can keep for a long time. And then we also put a little optional, okay? You can put this, the ginger, right onto it. Or oh, you, you keep it aside in case somebody else doesn't like it, then you don't put it there. Yeah. To know what your family likes. And then you put a little rice that you cooked left over yesterday. <laughs> left over rice is better because it's cold. It's just nice. Yeah. But not from the fridge, eh? When you cook rice, you can keep it for one day without refrigeration. And now you just roll it. I don't have the professional tool, it don't matter. The cucumber and the carrot look very, very, very good. 
before that, you put a little water in it. Always clean. Right. I have a bottle of water here. Too big, but you can use more water. Spray a little bit on top of the edge. Yeah. Right. There you are. So it's going to stick together like this. It's going to be like this, baby. Look good, no? Yeah. Because the cucumber and the carrot keep it straight and round. So you don't have to use the tatami type of roll, you know, the Japanese style. Yeah. This is more simple, easy. In case you don't have all the instrument that you need, you can always make it. Make another one. This time we can put the little onions and the coriander. It doesn't have to be all the same. It can be with varieties. Let me make the next one. Also put carrot to make this long side of it. As long as the, the seaweed plate. And put some onion on it. as much only as you think you can bear. Eh? <laughs> you know, onions are always very pleasant to many people. This one, we're going to put ginger. We sprinkle the sitae ground mushroom. Now about a tablespoon. And you put some coriander on it. Yeah. Put a little rice on. It's all cold, that's all the rice, so you don't have to reheat it. You have to cook it again, and it tastes just fine. Okay, there we are. Roll it back, roll it again. Hold it very tight. First, you you hold the edge very tight and then you roll it like that. Okay. Always get the bowl of water ready to wipe your hand because the rice will be sticky. And then you spray a little water on the edge. Or you can have a, a bowl of water nearby and use your finger to wet the edge of the seaweed. You gotta really wet it well, otherwise it doesn't stick. There, another one, we put it there. And we can make more and more, so on and so forth. This is the red ginger. Ginger uh, in vinegar. <laughs> it looks pink, uh, really red. Pink for love. <laughs> but it's uh, sharp, eh? So you be careful with it. Just sprinkle. Well, a tablespoon more or less on it again. Don't worry, it, it will be fine if you put a little bit more, or a little bit less. There you go. I think we spray the water first so that it gets softened. By the time we roll it, it's ready. We hold the edge tight and hold it to the carrot and ginger. Yeah. And then just roll it over. There you are. See? Perfect. Just like this. Very, very nice. Perfectly done. No problem. See? Easy. <laughs> no instrument needed. We put it aside there. Try and be. See how it looks? There's still some rice left from the bowl, so I make one more. The thing about the seaweed, there are two sides to it. You buy the one that is made for a sushi. It's really easy to cut. It has some already lying alongside. It's easier for you to cut into smaller pieces. Yeah, and also. There are two sides to it. One side is a little rough, 
That's the inside, a little rough. And outside is uh, smooth, yeah? If you prefer this uh, shiny, then you leave it outside. Or if you prefer it uh, not too shiny, <laughs> then, then you leave the smooth side in. Yeah, that's it. Okay, now put some onion on it. You don't have to put onion, okay? Some people don't like onion, and I don't blame them. This ginger or not ginger is up to you. Mm -hmm. You can buy this in supermarket everywhere. It's made for sushi. It's not always made in Japan, huh? They make it everywhere nowadays. <laughs> Mushroom, shite, ground, shite mushroom on top. Okay. About one tablespoon, one to two tablespoon, and the rice left over from yesterday. Yeah, I keep repeating <laughs> in case you missed the first part. You can prepare immediately. This is a not cooking day, yeah? You use whatever cold left over, it's fine. Okay, hold on to the edge. Voila. Always look good. No problem at all. Hmm? Good. Now we need to cut it. Okay. We use this small knife with a little teeth. So like a knife. This is a little too big, but you can use also, you see? It looks like a saw, it's better. It cuts smoother, that's all. Cut it into bite sides. There, put it there like that. Continue cutting. When you cut, you hold your finger, okay? Yeah, right. The index finger in one side and the other on one side, so, so that both of the side will not break. So the slide you cut will not break because the roll will be stable. And both of the side that you cut are stable. Just a common, you know, kitchen knife with a little saw edge, that would do. Wow, it's so easy. Mm. Maybe the edge will break a little bit, but it doesn't matter. You be careful with it, okay? And transfer into the plate gently. It will still taste good, even if it breaks. <laughs> when you break it a little bit, see if it still tastes good or not. <laughs> I think it would taste good, just the same. Yeah. You cut it uh, slowly, like the way you saw wood, okay? Let's do it like this. Not cut it down because it will flatten your 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 roll and it won't look good. That's all. And you cut it slowly, and so like man, you know, back and forth, back and forth. Then it will look nice. It won't break. And arrange on the plate, you know, whatever way you like. I think it does look nice here, so it will look nice with you. Make it. And uh, clean the plate a little if it's a little messy. Don't worry, just use a kitchen towel and clean it up. Dab it away. Just the thing that is running around. 
Maybe the mushroom powder, something like that. Yeah, okay. They look good in yeah. family style, you know? Yeah. Now we prepare some sauce. Okay. Mostly people use, uh, you know, Japanese green mustard. I mean, if you don't have green mustard, you put yellow mustard. It's fine. Green mustard has a special taste. It's very nice. And soy sauce. You can put it direct on the mustard, or you can put it aside. So people who doesn't like mustard doesn't have to taste it, okay? <laughs> but they can try. I'm sure it's nice. When I first tried mustard, I didn't really like it because it feels very, very sharp. But later on, I really like it. It's okay. I mean, the Japanese mustard is very sharp. Remember, we didn't put ginger in some of the row, or at least one of the rows. So we put ginger aside here in case some people like it and they can add it onto it. Ginger is good for you. Help digestion, uh, help to alleviate the cold, and help uh, you to taste good. There are many other medicinal properties of ginger. You can uh, do research about it. You know, some people also like ketchup with it. You can put also ketchup. Welcome to the dining. <laughs> okay, today cold day, okay? <laughs> no cooking. Well, cheating. You know, there's some cooking. There already somebody else cooked. So, okay, this is uh, the pink one, yeah? It's uh, melon and uh, vegan ham. Normally people eat it with real ham. I don't like it. You know what I mean? <laughs> So I create this version of uh, melon and vegan ham. It will be delicious, just the same. We don't have to kill to live. These are the ginger, the mustard in the middle, and the soy sauce <laughs> for the for the chuzi wrap. This is a chuzi wrap. You have carrot, cucumber, ginger, shite, mushroom, you know, powder, and rice. Okay, there you are. Go enjoy. Normally people eat the melon and the vegan ham first. But it doesn't matter, you can put all on the plate and then eat whatever you want. Enjoy. Cold food, huh? Yeah. And you have uh, the ice popsicle. I made it from fruit. It's uh, ice. Frozen? Frozen. All of them. All of them mm. are popsicle. So far, good? Yeah? Good with soy sauce or without? <laughs> can add soy sauce mustard, you know? Mm -hmm. And the ginger if you prefer a sharper taste, more tasty. Don't give to dog yet, okay? okay. I'll make some for them later. They're adorable. <laughs> yeah, I know they are. <laughs> Just because the one I made for you mostly have ginger. So I don't think they like it. I'm going to make different for them later on. Oh, you check out which one don't have ginger, you can give them. It's too sharp, they don't like it. They're adorable, no? And they'll love you too bit. They're friendly. Friendly like angels. Give you toys and all that. Did you see it? Yeah. You didn't even know you. You bring toys to you. <laughs> yes. And bring bone even. Nyla bone. Tell me which one better, the melon or the I like seaweed wrap? Melon. <laughs> like, like melon. They're both really good. Good. Both good. Okay, good. <laughs> it's banana. That's peach. It's orange. 
Mm. And you have pear also. Yeah. That's pear that you got there. Yes. Okay. Tell me if it's good. I've never seen it done like this. <laughs> Perfect, no? Yes. Tastes good or not? Yes. 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 Yeah, tell you. I'm full of ideas. Vegan is fantastic, really, yeah? Gale free, blood free, animal free, karma free, and you enjoy so much, huh? I bet all the kids will love this, no? The fish like this, no? Very simple, not much, yeah? It don't cost a lot. Altogether, this will cost maybe fifteen dollars, yeah. Mm. And it tastes so good, no? Fresh, yeah. yeah. All the ice cream trucks need to have these. Yeah, I know. Mm. Oh, they will have to ask me for patent right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to charge them a fortune. Royalty. Royalty, big, big time, and then I use the money for the poor people who doesn't have food. Nobody try the watermelon popsicle? Well, you know already anyway. It's similar to the instant sorbet that I made, it's just on the sticks, you know? <laughs> it's like ice cream, eh? Ice popsicle. And for children, they love it more, eh? So convenient, just pick the stick and eat. It's like ice cream. Same fruit, just different. Treat the brain, baby, yes. Treat the eyes, yeah? Mm. Same fruit, yes. Look nicer and you enjoy better. Okay, I'm going to give dog some of this. Here, pan. Ah, you bite it only, you don't take the whole thing. <laughs> okay, both of you. Yeah, bite it, bite it. Bye, bye, bye. There you go. There you go. Yeah, like that. That's a good boy. And now I'm happy. It's cold. Get that, don't take the whole thing, just bite, bite. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. All right, hand me. Slowly, it's cold. It's icy. Slowly. Yeah, baby. Go slow, happy. Okay, okay, take the whole thing. I don't care. Then you also. Hi everybody. Huh. Yeah, it's very exciting to show you some quick uh, lunch or snacks or dinner. Yeah, it's summer and we eat something light and simple. See, I have here cucumber hmm? and some carrot. I'm going to make like cucumber dip. Happy enough for you later, honey. Later. I'm working, okay? And we have some uh, vegan sausage. You can buy them in a bio shop, health shop, yeah, or some supermarket even. This is the uh, Venice vegan sausages. Yes. And I also have some uh, champignon. Yeah. This is uh, like a mushroom paste. You can buy them also in a health food store. I open it and you have a look. See the texture inside? It's like this. Mm. I smell very nice. It's a mushroom paste. Completely vegan. Yeah. And I also have some uh, soya mayonnaise. Mm, completely no egg. Beautiful. All vegan. Ah, my birds, they love it. <laughs> and I have here. Um, we call it passion fruit, passion fruit uh, sauce. 
Yes, I don't know if you can buy them anywhere else. This is made by our own company. You know, they call Loving Food from Taiwan. It's delicious, it's delicious. You can order online, eh? If not, if you don't have this, you can use a French, a vegan French dressing or a vegan, uh, you know, vinegar sauce dressing, yeah. But then you have to add a little bit of sugar then, because this one is sweet, it's not sour, yeah. And we also have uh, a soy sauce, or maki, it depends on you, for taste. Mm? That's all we have. Right, so that begin. We also have some uh, tortilla chips, yeah? It's a bio, from bio shop, bio tortilla chips. Any, any uh, flavor you like. This one is uh, chili flavor, okay? And we also have uh, oriental bread, they call it oriental bread. It look like this, they sell them in the supermarket. It's square. It is similar to chapatis, yeah? Or tortillas. Just a little bit more chewy, okay? And I also have a tray, <laughs> a big plate to put all that on. So this is a very simple, quick, but complete meal when you don't have enough time to cook. And it's summer, okay? So in the beginning, we have to, you know, wash the cucumber. Take away the head, huh? take away the plastic. Sometimes they sell it with plastic, sometimes they sell it without plastic, so it's up to you. The one with plastic cover, you can eat, uh, you know, with the skin and all that. That's why they do it, because they protect it from insects and protect it uh, so that it's more tender. Yeah? You can use the whole cucumber. Yeah. First you cut them into some two small pieces so you can put in the bowl to wash. And the carrot also, you have to skin it. The cucumber, you don't have to skin. Carrot, you should. I have shown you already before how to skin the carrot, but in case you lazy to look back at my uh, old teaching, I should tell you again. All you do is just use a knife and scrap it. That's it, very simple. So you don't need to have another uh, another instrument, okay? Like this. See? Like that. Knife, scrap the skin away. Huh? Scrap the skin away. Very simple. And it's be all clean. Right, there you are. See that? Yeah. And you put it in a bowl to, to wash together, of course. Huh? Uh, you, I put, uh, I put uh, some salt already in the bowl. Sea salt or any salt that you have. Yeah, sea salt is a little bit rougher. Um, you know, more original and natural. And I soak it in filter water. Huh? For a few minutes, three to five minutes just to take away any harmful substance that might be attached to the skin or to the carrot or the cucumber. Just to detox it, yeah? Detox your food. Because if you're going to eat raw, the more you have to be careful about it. If you're using a uh, uh, rough, you know, sea uh, salt, you have to mix, mix it well in the water so that they are dissolved. Otherwise, it uh, just stay at the bottom and it has no benefit to your vegetable. If you use uh, table salt, you know, refined salt, then you also need to stay a little bit, but not as long, okay? Use your hand to make sure, feel that uh, it's already dissolved in the water, then you soak your vegetable there for three to five minutes, okay? Good. Okay, I think we prepare the tortilla first and uh, the wrapping, sausage wrap, we prepare it afterward because it needs to be warmed. So this, I just arrange the tortillas, yeah. Okay, and 
And then you make the sauce. Mm -hmm. The sauce is very easy. Okay, we put the tortillas in the corner of the tray, the big plate. And either you can directly put the sauce onto the plate and save the washing, or you can put the sauce in a bowl and next to it. We put the direct on the plate, hey? Why not? So, all we do is scoop the, the mushroom and put it there in a corner. Scoop it. Yeah, and put it there like that. You don't have to use the whole, the whole uh, mushroom can. You can use some of it or all of it. It's up to you. Mm -hmm. And then you scoop the the sauce. You spread on top of the mushroom or next to it. If you, you know, like 50-50, okay, like that. 50 uh, per portion of the mushroom and 50 portion of the passion fruit. And all you do is put some soya sauce on top of it. Yeah, just like that. As much as you want. Yeah. And if you feel like it's not colorful enough, you can squeeze a little ketchup on top. Okay. Just a little bit, okay? Just for decoration. All right. So it's more colorful now. And then you wash your cucumber. Right now it's ready. You wash it in filter water, okay? Because you're eating it raw. Rinse it a couple of times until the water is all clear. It's all clear. All right. Put it in the seat to dry. Always have a towel handy next to you mm -hmm. to dry your hands. So you don't have to always use the paper towel, which is to which is using too much wood. You understand, right? Okay. You can cut the cucumber into four pieces. Just very simple and lay aside like this. Huh? Can you see? I'll show you in a minute. And the carrot also. You can cut it into small pieces, or bigger pieces, and lay it together there. You just half the carrot and quarter the cucumber, that should be enough. It's very simple, actually. There you are. See, it will look like this. Huh? And that's all there is to it. <laughs> very simple. Okay. I can show you a bit more. Cucumber, carrot, dipping sauce, and Tortillas. Hmm? Okay, this one is done. We keep it there. Okay, now we're going to warm this to warm the uh, the Oriental bread. Huh? Remember? Yeah. It looks square like this. If you don't have Oriental bread, the square you can use the tortillas that I showed you last time. Now you warm up, uh, also warm quick, eh? So we don't have to wait long. Remember uh, the, the tortilla? Yeah. Tortilla that we made uh, snake last time. Okay, you can use that as well. Just the texture will feel different and not so chewy. Okay. Now we warm this tortilla here on the pan and wait for it. Meanwhile, I can pop this into the microwave all can eat this the way it is. It's ready made anyway. It's ready. It looks like this. Huh? You can buy them in health food store. Or any other kind of sausages will be fine. Doesn't have to be Viennese sausage. Okay? I just have it here today, so I use it. You can uh, put this in microwave for maybe two minutes. 
Before that, you should make a, a couple of holes so that the air can come out, so it don't pop in your microwave, okay? Right. You can also put this in a boil water, uh, and after the water boil, you leave it there for a couple of minutes, and it's also warm. Hmm? Or you can even fry it in oil, yeah, up to you. But quicker, it's just microwave or boil warm it, or whatever you like, yeah. To fry it, it tastes a little better, yeah? That's just different, but it's more fattening, see? <laughs> if you worry about your figure, uh-huh, yeah. We have to always uh, keep an eye on the, the warm uh, bread because it gets, uh, it gets hot very quickly, yeah? It has to be uh, crispy enough, but not burn. It was all white, and if it golden a little like this, it should be okay already. And you turn to the other side. The other side is normally already golden, but you just want to warm it up, so you have to put it in the pan. You see, when you're eating the cucumber, cucumber dip, you dip it in a little sauce and some mushroom, you dip mushroom paste with it together, then it tastes nice, huh? Mm. Wow. Very simple, quick, and nutritious, huh? Mm. And the cucumber, you have put it in the fridge all this time, or outside, so it's very, very fresh. Right. See, this one is done. Okay, the sausage is already warm. I'm going to put it uh, on here, okay? Want some, Harry? Yeah, it's already warm and crispy. Yeah. Yeah, babe. Yeah. Come on, lady. Yeah. Come on, lady. Come on, lady. Yeah. Come on, Yeah, good. Enjoy, yeah? Mm. Okay. For this, uh, you cannot have it too crispy, okay? Just warm and enough. Otherwise, it won't wrap. Yes. Now you just put the sausage in here. Hmm? Yeah. Stick it out a little bit, okay? Make it like more appetizing when it's, you see something sticking out. And have some mayonnaise. Ah, I need a spoon. Okay. Right. okay. This uh, Soya mayonnaise, eh? absolutely egg free, absolutely vegan. You just smear it on top of the sausage as much as you want it. Yeah, there you are. Like one tablespoon, yeah, should be enough. Okay. Oh, mayonnaise, nice. Mm. And just wrap it, okay? And wrap it from one corner to the next. There you are. See this? Mm -hmm. And the sausage stick out a little bit like this, you know, just to tease people appetize. And you lay it next to these things, next to the, the thing that you have prepared. Yeah. And it become all together like this, you see? Cucumber, carrot, dipping sauce tortillas, and a wrap sausage with mayonnaise. Of course you can put other, you know, like ketchup and mustard if you like it. Otherwise this should be enough, okay? And you can also put a little bit of uh, maggi, yeah, onto the mayonnaise sausage if you like. Yeah, just put a few drops like that. Maggi or soy sauce, yeah? A few drops. And of course, you can also put butter on top of your bread if you want butter. But like this is less fattening and it's light for summer. Okay, voila, bon appetit. You see, this is the thing that you can also share with other people, eh? You don't have to have it all by yourself. You can make like two, two of the, the wrap sausage, yeah, and share. Well, 
gotta get some uh, sorry guys. <laughs> some, 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 some. You guys stay here. I come back give you something else. Alright, or some of this. This we can eat outside. Oh, ah. Oh, guys. <laughs> Enjoy, okay? <laughs> These are outdoor activities, huh? Wow. Nice, no? Yeah. yeah. Wow. The bird cannot eat it, but they would love to. Prasna, what are you doing there? Huh? What are you guys doing? What are you guys up to? Huh? Yeah, yeah. I know you like to eat some of this, but you can't. Sorry. Is it good or not? Which one good? The deep, not yet, huh? Here are some serviette, guy. One each. <laughs> it's nice this thing. You don't have to uh, have uh, trouble anything. Just eat outside, you know? Yes. Yeah. Is it cool? Yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> you can share, no? It's nice, huh? Yeah. A quick snack, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. And if you eat a lot, it can be also lunch or dinner. Actually, it's a lot there, huh? Mm -hmm. For four people. Do that? Huh? No? Is it? <laughs> When somebody made it for you quick, it's nice, huh? Ni hao! Ni hao, sa ni hao! 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 But you can't have it, hao, hao! Laguna, your face is nice upside down. <laughs> it's not a good day today, huh? It's, it's not very sunny. No. Yeah. You dip any of these in the sauce, yeah, and in the mushroom as well. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it don't taste that good. You know, two substances together, yeah? yeah? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, mm. it together is more sociable, no? Yes, very tasty. <laughs> and just write anywhere you want. You don't have to have a table even, huh? Yeah. That's why I bought this tray. He loved to have this, but it's not for him. <laughs> it's only for SMTV now and again. Mm -hmm. When I make it, then you can use it. And mm -hmm. even pink color, wow. Color of love, eh? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure you don't love the color. You love the food. Tell me, you love the food. Yes. 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 Is, it good? <laughs> Is it good or not? Yes, yes uh, You have to dip it in the sauce, huh? You eat carrot alone, then I don't have to make sauce. <laughs> Is it cool, huh? Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. It's nice like this, huh? Yeah. I want to try some. Mm. Very always good. You see, to be able to create something new, I have to eat it first. I have to like try it first before. Yeah. Mm. And when it's good, then of course I offer it to the public, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, um, mm, what I'm showing is just a simple meal, yeah? It's not sophisticated, but we have other sophisticated menu, huh? All over in our internet, huh? Yes. Good? Yes, it's good. Truly? Yes, truly, Master, yes. Mm -hmm. You know what? <laughs> yeah. This is called cucumber dip. Oh. Mm. Because when I first tried it, uh -huh. I only had cucumber. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and it tastes so good. Yeah. So I call it cucumber dip, huh? Yeah. But you know, you can put uh, carrot and celery, yeah? Yeah. Mm, cauliflower. Broccoli, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. Mm. It's good. <laughs> like this, you can eat raw, huh? Yeah, we don't have to cook. Brush <laughs> <laughs> mm. 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 you want to try some? Mm? Yeah. Mm. That's why you you fly over my head because you want that. Okay, yeah. fine. Yeah. <laughs> one thumb, thumb down. 
Is it good? Yum yum. Yeah, that's a bigger one, honey. There you are. Wow. <laughs> she loves this. Yeah. She loves anything. She's a good girl. But you don't give her too much of this thing, yeah? No. It's salty. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Only when we eat outside and yes. see, see. Yeah. This is an opportunist, you know. <laughs> mm. Hey, Lagoon. One try. Hey. Yeah, the tall guy. <laughs> Leave it to them. Good try, you know. It's not fair that we eat, they don't eat. Yeah. There. And give, give Sunny there. Hey, you guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's nice to have spring and summertime, eh? Yes. With flowers and all that, it's wonderful. Yes, good. And the birds are happy when they can be out. Oh, Brasna, he, he, she lost it. Give her one more. Yeah, she can eat forever, this girl. <laughs> when she was young, I feed her, you know, by hand. But she can eat a lot, and she get big, big, bigger than other baby in her age, you know, and heavy. <laughs> good girl. Anyway, you're beautiful, beautiful. Are you good hanging in there? You love it up? You love it there? Yeah, hanging, hanging. Yeah, no, I love to climb and hang and fly. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> These are the flowers we have just planted, not long ago. Yes, uh, just to welcome spring. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is where we picnic sometimes. Yeah. That's not much of a house, but we like it. We make it nice and cozy. It doesn't have to be big and uh, rich or sophisticated. This is just a nice small country house. I will make a deck so we can have more room because it's a mountainous house and you don't have enough room. Now in the mountain, the terrain is not all that uh, big, so we have to whatever you know, the terrain is all only levels, like, you know, one terrace after another. So we don't have much room. So I try to create some room. Yeah. This big enough is uh, 22,000 square meters, but it's not flat. Have a lot of olive trees. Maybe we can harvest them and make money. <laughs> mm. Mm.